right, good morning. Welcome to day three. So, more steep hills. Actually, I think maybe even a little bit steeper than yesterday. So that's been a challenge. But things are going pretty well. And it is supposed to rain later today. It's actually drizzling a little bit right now. So it's supposed to rain kind of heavy later today. So we're trying to get some miles in uh, earlier on. And there's also, uh, according to according to folks, there's quite a few kind of aggressive sheepdogs also on this stretch. So we'll see how that goes. So I'm excited today. Oh, here's a nice, uh, here's a cool little trail marker. I'll show you. Kilometer 52. Yeah, they vary. They vary quite a lot. That's pretty cool. All right, onward, onward and upward. Some great views up here. Here's some sheep dogs down in the valley. <clears throat> so yeah, I'm a little worried about that. But we'll see how it goes. So back in uh, back when I was a teenager, I watched Nosferatu, the Werner Herzog version that came out in 1979. And there's an absolutely beautiful sequence in that movie of Jonathan Harker headed up into the Carpathian Mountains to Dracula's castle. And I was just mesmerized by the Carpathian Mountains. So it turned out he didn't actually film that sequence. He did film it in the Carpathians, but he did not film it in Romania. But I just found that out when I was researching this trip. But regardless, I just was really fascinated by those mountains. And, you know, years would go by, I would periodically think about them, but never, never came. And then I mentioned early in an earlier video about seeing a Rick Steves video about Romania and just thinking, man, that was some awesome country, you know, and Googling long distance hiking trails in Romania and turned out Via Transylvanica started, I think, in 2018 and finished uh, just a couple years ago in 2022. And it looked amazing and the chance to get up into the Carpathians. So that's kind of what prompted prompted this trip really was uh, Nosferatu way back in 1979. So I don't know, kind of a cool story, but these these mountains are spectacular. And I just, so far I've loved everything about it. And this is only the third day, but it's been a great start. And amazingly, I was really wondering like how many people would be out here but this is our third day and so far we haven't seen any hikers. We did hear about a group of four that was ahead of us, but I don't know, we might have passed them if they spent the night in uh, Vatra Moldovica. So I don't know if we'll see them, but I feel like we'll see somebody today hiking. Oh, we just had more uh, wonderful Romanian hospitality. Both of us were completely out of water for about the last 10 kilometers or so. And we've got about seven or eight more kilometers still to the next town and uh, past a farmer. And while we rested, he ran down to the, uh, to the creek and got us nice ice cold water and gave us some wonderful cheese that he made and just, such a nice, such a nice touch with this hike, I'll tell you. Because on the Appalachian Trail, you'd call that trail magic, but this really is some trail magic. Well, we're on the part of the trail after Sadova or Sadova, and quite, it was quite pretty, but uh, it has been raining pretty much consistently all afternoon, and uh, a good bit of lightning and stuff too. So, 
it's been a little bit uh, not as pleasant but it's been very pretty and got to see that cool salamander or newt or whatever that was uh, quite he was quite large too maybe six inches long something like that I've never seen anything like that before uh, but anyway we're headed down and hopefully uh, hopefully the market will be open and we'll get to resupply and see how it goes down there all right the trail's also been pretty hard to pretty hard to follow in places. I don't know if it's the way marking sound is good or if it's just the rain's making it harder to find stuff. There's one point I, I know in the guidebook. There's one point where it says that the trail sometimes follows uh, to the left of the stream, some sometimes follows to the right of the stream, and sometimes the trail is the stream. So we got to experience that. So you know, a little bit wet, but hey, it's all part of it. So we had a great pizza and resupplied at uh, Fundu Moldovai, I believe is how you say it. And we're continuing. There's a little bit of a lull in the rain, although I think it's supposed to rain heavy tonight. So we're continuing a little bit, looking for basically the first place we find to camp. And hopefully we'll get everything set up before the rain comes back. <laughs> 